Hey guys, just a quick vlog on the touchiness of nerds. Nerds who are a little bit too touchy about technology. So a video I did just the day before, or the day before that, depends when I publish this. Anyway, I did a video recently where I said that a lot of Mac people, some prominent Mac people, lifelong Mac users are, were switching over to Windows. And I went through reasons why, hardware inconsistency, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, and I also pointed out in the video that I use Mac, I use Windows, I use Android, I use iOS. I've, I've even used Linux in the past, very, very, very powerful Linux, but uh, I don't use Linux these days simply because I use apps that are not available on Linux, so that's, that's, all, that's the only reason I don't use Linux. Linux is great as well if you have the software that you need to operate Linux with. Anyhow, that being said, I just want to comment on how one user below said, uh, I forget the exact quote, I'll put a screenshot, but he put a quote, he basically unsubscribed from my channel because I dared to mention that Mac people were moving off of Mac onto Windows, some prominent people. I don't have statistics. I don't know if it's a mass movement. I don't know if, if I'm not suggesting it's a mass movement. It could be. I don't know. But I'm hearing it more and more and more. In fact, I just got back from a, a lunch with an old friend of mine. They're not in the tech business, but they've been using Macs for years. And I, I had mentioned this situation where I, somebody, somebody was so angry that I just mentioned what I just mentioned about people moving from Mac to Windows. And they, to my surprise, they said they were thinking of dropping their Macs as well after many years because they found that the quality control or the qu consistency of quality is a better way of putting it, was lacking in the newer computers and they're paying a premium. So they're looking at Windows machines. That said, they're not coders, they're not uh, creative types, they're just using it for business only. So they're looking at uh, Windows, Windows 10 based systems because of the things I just mentioned before in the previous video. So why am I talking about all of this in this video? I think the larger point is that we have to look at all these things operating systems, computer types, Macs, Windows, Android, iPhone, et cetera, et cetera, Samsung, Google, Pixel, whatever. They're just tools, man. They're just tools. And just because somebody else prefers that tool over a tool that you prefer, it's not like, it's not a political thing here. They're not affecting your life in any way if somebody uses Mac and you happen to be a Windows lover or somebody's using Windows and you happen to be a Linux lover. Everybody's got different motivations. Everybody's got different sensibilities. Everybody's got different point of views or use cases, you know? Uh, so, you know, just because you think that Mac is the best and for you, it's probably the best doesn't mean it's the best for Windows users. So for instance, I, as a hobby and for this channel, I've been learning how to use cinema cameras properly so I can do pretty good video without having to bust my head. And for that, uh, I, so because of that rather, I, I check out what's going on in that world, you know, re watch reviews, et cetera, et cetera. A little bit too much perhaps, but that's another story. Anyhow, and what I notice is that for a lot of video editors, because they need to use Adobe and because they want to use Adobe products and because uh, they find that they can get a far more powerful machine for a lot less money than uh, on the Windows side versus the Mac side, and because their focus is video, they will, uh, they're moving over to, um, to Windows machines for strictly for video editing, even if they like Mac for other things. On the other hand, there are some Mac people, in terms of video editing, they like using Final Cut Pro. That is their app. And because that is their app and only runs on Mac, they're not going to switch off a of Mac simply because of that app. And some of them will use Mac simply for video editing because they like Final Cut. And uh, they'll use PCs for other things and vice versa. There are some people who... They like their Mac as their daily driver to answer emails, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they use PC to use Adobe products because Adobe works much better. Apparently, the Adobe um, video editing software, apparently, I haven't used it, but apparently it works much better on PC than it does on Mac. So they 
use PC just because they want to use Adobe. They don't like Photocrat. So everybody's got their motivations. Everybody's got their reasoning. It's, sometimes it's just personal taste. I, a friend of mine, he, ins he loves BMW. I prefer Audi. I prefer the interiors of the Audi. I prefer the look of the Audis uh, in the uh, D, uh, what are they called, the D8 range. Anyway, I prefer Audis before the 2019, 2018 models in terms of the look and the aesthetic. But another friend of mine, he prefers, they prefer two of these guys, they prefer BMWs. That's all they buy. I prefer Audi. You know, they don't, we don't hate each other because we don't, we have different preferences in terms of vehicles. There may be a little bit of ribbing here and there, but it's, it's not like, again, the tool that somebody else uses, if it's different from yours, has no impact on your life. It doesn't say anything negative about you. They're not insulting you. It's just an opinion, man. Who cares? And I'll leave it with this. Amazing software has been written on Linux, has been written on Windows, has been written on Mac OS. Yes, amazing software has been created on all three platforms. Amazing videos have been created on all three platforms. Amazing music has been created on all three platforms, I'm sure. You know, so whatever is good for you, let's not get caught up in the politics of these silly things. It'd be, you know, I think most people would say it would be kind of silly to watch plumbers argue over what uh, wrench is the best wrench. So let's not do the same thing with computers. Just saying. All right, that's it for today. Bye-bye.